एवरीवन माय नेम इज अल्पा रूपाला टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट योर सब्जेक्ट डेटा विजुलाइजेशन इन विच द टूडेज टॉपिक इज रीडिंग द डेटा फ्रॉम द स्टैंडर्ड एक्सएमएल फाइल सो इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न अबाउट द रीडिंग डेटा फ्रॉम द स्टैंडर्ड टेक्स्ट फाइल एंड रीडिंग द डेटा फ्रॉम द स्टैंडर्ड सी एस वी फाइल सो दिस इज द स्टैंडर्ड एक्सएमएल फाइल so we have used the jquery which is the library of a javascript and in that we have used the get method to read the content and this particular information will be shown as an ajax data element so what is the ajax data element that we have already discussed now this is the xml file so now first of all what is the xml file to so xml file is a extensible markup language it is used to store all the kind of data and it is having the user defined tag it is extremely flexible and it use the first element as an xml tag so so here let us consider the file name as sample xml dot xml so this is our file sample xml dot xml in which the first line is xml version 1.0 in here we have taken one list tag that is the user defined tag then after in the list tag we have taken multiple tags like book name category price this particular book name is having the first book name as data visualization then programming then price then book name 2 is having some another data suppose we are adding mi theory and the value suppose we are taking some different 1900 okay so just for the representation we have take, uh, we are taking two different values so this is your first value of your book name category and price and this is your second value now what is our task our task is to read this data to the uh, html web page so for that here our code okay first of all let us just comment this all after commenting we are just using the alert in which we are just representing our data that what this html data is representing so this is the same method which we have used in our previous lecture jquery.get this is the url of your sample.xml file and the function xml is containing all your xml data which we are representing in a alert box so let us just run this code for running we are using the web server for chrome in which we have already stored our data i am just uh, uh, restarting my server okay so this is the link in here this is my xml file okay this is my xml file now this is my xml reading file okay so on clicking of the data let us see this is what object xml document so it is not in a readable form so we must need to convert it or parse it in a readable form so for that we are using the different uh, function of your jquery ajax okay so now we are commenting this one i'm commenting this all okay so for that reading the content first of all we are taking the content object as a dollar xml then dot find we are applying the find method and we are finding the list tag and whatever number of list tag we are having in that we are applying the each function so the number of time you are having the book name or category or price that all will be covered so in each function what it is taking first of all it is taking what container this is your dyd container so it is represented over here dollar container dot append now in this append what 
okay so this is whole block of your append from here to here okay now in this append first of all we are creating word div in a single quotation then we are concatenating it with the bold letter of name of book and then after this is what your data which we are fetching so how we are fetching our data using the dollar of this now this will represent the current data or current object so ultimately our current object is what list element so on a list element dot find what we are finding from the book name dot text so it will return the text from the book name and the first text of the book name is what data visualization so it will be fetched and it will be printed after the bold letter name of book is complete then after the same format with the category and same format with the price and whatever number of book name and category and price you are having that all will be fetched by this code so let us just run this code now okay so this is my file so we are here we are having the data visualization and mi the category it is containing the programming and theory and price is containing so all your data will be updated so now how we are telling that this all is a ajax content so for that let us just go back to our sample text file example So this is here our sample text file in which only this six line I are written. Now in here I am just running this code first of all. It is having the file jQuery. Okay, text file dot jQuery. Now try it. Okay, so this all content is here. Now I am updating my text file. So this is my text file, and suppose I am adding some more lines. Line seventy and line eighty. Okay, so the and I am saving this particular text file now. What is the Ajax is uh, basically having the, the definition that whatever the content we are representing that uh, that doesn't need your whole page to be refreshed. Only that particular content will be refreshed. So for that, let us just check our running code. Okay, so this is our running code. Already we have seen. I am not using this refresh button. I am not clicking on my refresh button. I am just clicking my try, and it will give me the content which is already updated in my text file without refreshing whole page. So this is the content of what your. This is the uh, definition of what your Ajax, and that we are implementing using the get method. the get method of ajax is having another format also the format is something like this like first of all we are using the dollar ajax in that we are defining our type as a get method url of your original xml file with the web server then web type data type is xml and success uh, is the xml parser because we need to parse the content of xml object so you can use this ajax method or you can directly use the jquery dot get method thank you